hello guys welcome to MEP engineering tutorials topic which I'm gonna discuss today is related to the grease interceptor sizing and selection using this uh, Excel sheet so first of all apology for uploading this uh, new topic very late but from now onwards you will find uh, new topics more frequently on this channel so don't forget to subscribe and keep watching so let's uh, start this grease interceptor sizing using this excel sheet so we will calculate the grease interceptor size by using this excel sheet in a simple steps which we will follow here by using uh, six simple steps so first steps which we have to do here is we have to calculate the number of meals per peak hours then we have to get the waste flow rate and we have to get the retention time then storage factor so once we have all those information in the step 1 2 3 and 4 we have to multiply all those to get the interceptor size here once we get the interceptor size then we have to select the interceptor from the approved suppliers catalog but before proceeding towards the calculation of this one I want you to understand what is uh, grease interceptor and how it works so let's go through this uh, PowerPoint slide here I have uh, to show you what is the function of this uh, grease interceptor so basically grease interceptor is an automatic or a manual device used to separate and retain fat oil and grease which is also known as fog so basically it prevents the fat oil and grease to enter the outlet pipe and uh, uh, due to buoyancy effect fat oil and grease accumulates on the surface of the water and uh, uh, solids at the bottom of this uh, interceptor and the uh, water flows to the outlet pipe I will show you later an animation to get you the good idea about uh, this one second I have to talk about the installation location each grease interceptor shall be located and connected that shall be all time easily accessible for inspection cleaning removal and removal of the intercepted grease so interceptor shall be placed as close as practical to the fixtures as it serves why it needs to be placed as close as to the fixture itself i can show you here so this is uh, practice is to recommend only when all fixtures are close together to avoid installing the long piping run to the interceptor closer the interceptor can be installed to the fixture better it is because the longer run of the pipe cooler the wastewater is because if you have the longer run of the pipe the wastewater will cool down and it will clog the inlet pipe as the wastewater cools the grease congeals coating and clogging the interior of the pipe which we don't want this is why it is recommended to install the interceptor closer to the pipe as we said here and uh, we what we have to say about the cleaning uh, uh, there is a periodic cleaning that needs to be done for the interceptor time to time depends on how much is the usage of the kitchen so based on that uh, we have to perform the periodic cleaning of this interceptor and the next thing it is recommended that the sample box uh, to be located at the outlet and of the grease interceptor so that administrative authority can periodically sample effluent quality so sampling box is also recommended to install on the grease interceptor at the outlet end so let's go to one animation which uh, help you to understand better before we go towards the sizing calculation sheet so here you see this is the inlet uh, pipe through which uh, water is flowing and uh, there we have uh, a flow restrictor installed here so basically it restricts the flow of the water so that it will not overwhelm the interceptor so this is why you have the flow restrictor here as we said that fat oil and grease which is also known as fog uh, which is basically um gathered on the surface of the water just behind this uh, wall this is called grease retaining wall which is also known as a baffle 
also you can see the solids which are also gathered on the bottom of the uh, grease interceptor so basically these uh, baffle plates which are installed here are prolonged to the bottom of this uh, grease interceptor so that uh, it will not allow any fat oil and grease to leave this baff baffle wall and it will not enter to the outlet pipe so basically it gathered or float on the surface of the water here the gr uh, grease oil and fat and the solid is gathered on the bottom here and it only allows this baffle plate is only allowing the water to flow here so water is coming from this inlet pipe and this goes to the outlet so as we said that fog fat oil grease is gathered on the top due to buoyancy effect and it only allows water to flow so as you can see when water is coming to this outlet pipe so it goes directly to the sewage system from here and some of the grease interceptor has this uh, uh, side glass where you can see the level of this uh, fog fat oil and grease so that it's not leaving from the baffles plates which are installed we have to make sure that no fog is leaving so this is how basically the grease interceptor is working let's go towards our sheet to continue the sizing of this uh, grease interceptor so first step as we said we have to calculate the number of meals per peak hours so how we calculate the number of meals per peak hour here is the recommended formula as per uniform plumbing code so we have to get the seating capacity times meal factor to get this uh, number of meals per peak hour so meal factor depends on the type of the food facility so if we have the fast food facility for 45 minutes meal factor is 1.33 restaurant for one hour is 1.00 leisure dining for 90 minutes is 0.67 and for dinner club two hours it's 0 0.50 so let's say we have the restaurant for which we are going to calculate uh, so meal factor here for us is one and for the seating capacity we have to check the floor plan we have to see number of people so let's say we have uh, 25 people capacity there then we have uh, meals per peak hour is 25 based on this meal factor as we said restaurant so this is how we got 25 here now we have to go to the second step which is the waste flow rate we have to get this one so waste flow rate as per uniform plumbing code is also there are four different conditions which we have to see uh, with dishwasher dish washing machine six gallons without dishwashing machine five gallons single service kitchen two gallons food waste disposal only one gallon so let's say we are using with the dishwashing machine which has a flow rate waste flow rate of six gallons so we get six gallons in here third step is to get the retention time for the retention time also, also we have two types of uh, kitchen to get the retention time if we have a commercial kitchen waste with a dishwasher it's 2.5 hours single service kitchen single serving 1.5 hours so since we said we have a restaurant with a dishwashing machine so commercial kitchen we consider this one here and dish with the dishwasher it's 2.5 hours so a 2.5 hours yes so we put 2.5 here and uh, the fourth step here we have to get the storage factor now the storage factor is also uh, depends on the kitchen type as per uniform plumbing code uh, for the kitchen type if we talk about the fully equipped commercial kitchen it depends on number of hours to get the storage factor let's say uh, we are using this uh, commercial uh, equipped kitchen as we said above here restaurant so and uh, there are different hours of operation 8 hours is 1 12 hours is 1.5 storage 16 hours is 2 and 24 hours is 3 let's say a uh, kitchen which we are talking about is 8 hours operation so storage factor is 1 so we put uh, storage factor here is 1 so after putting all the values in here we calculate the interceptor size which is 375 gallons now this is our calculated size and uh, step 6 we have to select the interceptor so we have to see from the approved 
uh, supplies catalog to get the interceptor size close to our calculated size to get here let's say after checking the supplier catalog catalog we get uh, 380 is the closest one so we select the crease interceptor size of 380 gallons so this is how you have to calculate the crease interceptor size i hope uh, you understand the concept behind for the grease interceptor working principle and the sizing and selection so before ending this video just want to pass the message about uh, the channel membership those who have not joined channel membership until now they can join by clicking this join button once you click this join button you will see different levels of membership currently there are six level of membership so whatever the material you want based on that you can select your membership so for example if you select this so 3mp design spreadsheets of your own choice you can click this more perks to see what is included in the perk and once you join the instruction will be shared with you like how you can get the spreadsheets and other relevant material you have to send an email afterwards to get access to the required material and if you want to see what uh, is the list of the material available you can watch this video list of available MEP design material spreadsheets to see and instruction is also written there how to get access to the required spreadsheets so i hope you guys learn something from this video for more videos keep watching my channel don't forget to subscribe thank you